Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use Jamboard. So Jamboard is a Google app, easy to launch. It's like a whiteboard and you can work in real time with a group of your all your participants. So it's a great way to collaborate. I was just using it the other day for a large group of teachers answering different questions around 40 and it worked great. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, how this works and I'll do some side by side uh, in comparison to so show you with uh, it working in live time with two windows open at the end. So let's get started with Jamboard today on Teachers Tech. So the first step, I just want to show you where you access Google Jamboard. You need to be logged in to access it, so into your account. I'm just going to go up to uh, the apps, Google Apps up here, and just click in the top right cor hand corner. And I'm going to go down. You can see Jamboard is right here. Remember, you can move these around. If you wanted to have them in a different location for easy access, you can drag these around. So I could go ahead and click on Jamboard, open it from there, and it's going to show me any previous Jamboards uh, that I've worked on. You can also, if you're logged in, you can type jamboard.google.com and it will get there too. Uh, you can also, if I, I'm just going to open another window here. This time I'm just going to go over to Google Drive and click on Google Drive. Uh, previous ones are stored. So this is the one that I was just uh, started this video with and it's right here and I can click on it and open it uh, from Google Drive too. So any previously uh, saved ones. The other place you're going to find it is right inside Google Meet now. So they have it. Once you've started your meeting, meeting you can go ahead and uh, launch it right within Google Meet and it will send out a inside chat a link for everybody, all the participants that they can click on and it's shared with them and you can start from there. But it will save it back into your drive. So that's where you access uh, Google Jamboard. So I'm just going to go ahead now and start a new Jamboard. And to do this, I'm going to hit the orange plus here, new jam. Go ahead, click on that and it will open up. So this first part, I just want to go over the different tools and just some of the uh, uh, settings that you can have on here. So if we look on the left hand side over here, these are going to be different uh, tools that we can grab. Uh, so I'm going to just start and work my way down here. We have a pen. So if we take the pen, we can draw with it. You can see it's just black here. But if I click and hold down, I have some options if I want to highlighter, a brush, you can pick these different ones, a marker, and you can adjust the color and you can get more of what you want. So if you had different people working on different colors, uh, you can tell them to pick a certain one so you can distinguish between the difference. We have our eraser here. So with your eraser, you can just go over uh, top of this. Now remember, when everybody shared together, people can erase other people's things. So that's one of the uh, downsides of this if someone writes. So you gotta have a good collaborative environment with uh, rules set up with this so everybody knows. This here is our uh, select tool. So if I go, I'm gonna pick this. If I go ahead and select something, I'm gonna put something in and then, I'm, then I'll go back and select it. Uh, so I'm gonna jump down down to the sticky note and the sticky notes we can put in uh, you can use them for a lot of different things if you are putting a picture in with the questions and these go in so you can see if I go ahead and select it I can select it and I can move it around I can grab it and twist it if I want and I can uh, change the sizing too. Check anytime you see these three little dots, there's more information you can see where you can edit, duplicate, or delete. So if I was going to go back, I can still do more things. I can change the color. I could write uh, something else or delete it and make those changes there. So the sticky notes can be a easy way for uh, all the participants to add some information. Again, you can color code it uh, to do it. Now, uh, as I go down, you can see uh, below the sticky note is the add image. Now, there's a few different ways that I, you, I like to use add image here. I'm just going to go and click on this. Uh, you can see you can upload from your computer. So if I go and select from my computer and I'm just going to go to my downloads here and grab an image and upload it. This will upload it to my Google Drive and then I can place it in. So 
there's the image that will come through. And remember, this image will show on everybody's Jamboard. They'll see this. Uh, you can resize this uh, just like with the sticky notes. You can move it around. You can twist it. Now, I like to use the images. What I'll do sometimes is take a snapshot of a PDF and bring it in. So as an example, if I go back and I'll just go this time to my Google Drive, you can see you can even do a search in here. So if I was looking for something to add, I could add these images too. So do the search. Uh, I'm just going to go to my Google Drive and I'm just going to take this snapshot of a PDF that I had. So I'm going to open that and I'm just going to move it around. I'm going to uh, just delete this here. You can see delete and I'm going to move it over here. So I'm going to stretch it out, make it a little larger. So maybe I had multiple students working on this and I could get them to fill it out. They could use their pens so they could write down the answer. So they could write maybe like cheerful for here but they could also use a text box on top of it. So I'm gonna just skip by the shape here and text box. So if I just draw a text box and then I write cheerful, I can uh, move this around too. So if I click on it and I can twist it, I can line it up better. So different students could go through and complete this uh, with the different, uh, you know, with all filling this in together as a collaboration proje uh, project. So. One thing I wanted to point out too with this, if I bring this over, notice it's on fr in front of this. So you can change the order of different things too. So let me bring in a shape here. I'm gonna bring in a shape. Uh, you can see all the different shapes here. I'll just bring in a circle, draw my circle to the size that I want. Uh, up here, I can change more colors up here. There's the outline, this would be the fill. So I have some colors. If I go and put this, so notice now the circle is in front of cheerful. You can change the order if you're not seeing anything. So on these objects, if again, if I click, there's order. So do I want it send to back, send backward? So let's send to send backwards. And now the circle is behind. So if you're seeing something come up in front or behind, you can change the order with any of these. When I click on it, see the dots and there is order uh, to it. You get some options of what you would like. Now this at the bottom here is our laser pointer. So the laser pointer, so if you're to trying to explain something, uh, as you go through it, you notice it disappears but I can draw attention to a certain uh, point of this and uh, then people maybe watching uh, on the frame will be able to see where you're pointing out. Maybe you're going back after and pointing out to somebody's answer and circling it and uh, so they can follow exactly what you're looking at. So these are just the tools inside um, Jamboard and I'm, there's a few more things I'm going to show you uh, to make your Jamboards even a little bit more interesting. So moving from the tools on the left here, I just want to look at the top at some of the different functions we have. Uh, notice that we do have a zoom tool here. So if I click, click on it, select it, I can zoom up. Uh, you can have some different options of where you want to go to. So if I just want to go back to fit, it goes back to where I had it before. Now there's the background too. We can pick different background styles. So maybe before we even started, you wanted to set up uh, different uh, backgrounds. Maybe you wanted some uh, lines in the back. You can see that this isn't transparent, so uh, the, uh, the lines don't show be uh, behind this one. I'm just gonna zoom back out so you can see, you can see the lines a little bit, but I'll go back to fit. Now we also have clear frame. So if I click clear frame, it takes everything off very, very quickly. You don't have to select things individually. We have our undo. So maybe you do want it back. You can quickly put things back together. Now, moving over to the middle here, this is where we create our new frames. If we go ahead and create frame, notice it went from one out of one to now we're on two out of two. And we can go on more and more. And uh, this way you could maybe break it up with different, uh, telling different students you could number your, uh, number your slides and put a question on it and tell groups to go answer certain questions. There's many ways that you can uh, break this up, but this is where you would create your next frame and you can keep creating them. Uh, and over here, if I just look at these more actions, if we click on them, th we can rename. And I haven't named this yet, so if, if I was gonna go rename, I could click up here also and then click on, this is my demo Jamboard. 
uh, here and then I have a name so it could make it easier uh, to find uh, where it is in your Google Drive by searching but if I go back to these I can download as a PDF I can download this as a PDF and look through so all the work that all the students do you can have that PDF afterwards to see that collaboration you could save the frame as an image so if, it, if I was going to save this it would save this complete one as an image and you can see where I can remove or make a copy now an important part of Jamboard if you're using meet it will make the share options uh, there but uh, with, with whoever the group is but in this case you need to share this out too so if I go to share with the group this is where you can put in individual students so if I was going to start sharing or maybe there's a group in here do pay attention to this right here so do you want them to be an editor or a viewer now you only have those two choices so uh, if you want them to be truly collaborating you need to make them an editor uh, on this without uh, with just viewers uh, if they just have viewer they won't be able to change and add to it so but do know they can delete things uh, on it so it's important for them to understand um, you know what you're trying to achieve with the collaboration too uh, then I could go ahead and send it and then that student uh, would be uh, would be able to access it and inside Google Meet like I said they can just click on the um, the uh, inside the comments that link that's automatically generated so this gives you the uh, overview let's put some side-by-side -side comparison to see what's happening if I'm working on one and what happens with the other so on the left here I have the uh, the Jamboard that I created so let's say I'm the teacher and on the right I've opened up a different account to somebody I shared it with and this is what it looks like you can see and then I'm just gonna go double click and open it up so what I want to point out I'm gonna just work on a few different ones so you can see if I go to the laser pointer just to, uh, to just test it out if I circle it like this wait a moment you notice there is a slight delay to it and it comes through in a different color so if I circle this again you can see it happening over there with a slight delay I can uh, use my text tool put something up here and if I put text and right there you notice that there's a purple uh, purple thing identifying that somebody is there about to write so if I click off it over here it appears on it so I'll do that again if I use my my text tool and I draw the box you can see over on the right hand side that marks that a person's writing something hello but until I click off of it it won't show up so when I click off there and now I can see it and it pops open uh, with any of the things that I put in if I was going to put in uh, let's do a just a quick uh, Google search here we'll just do ice cream here again and I'll just put this one in and select add an image and it goes through and the person on the other side could do the same thing so if I take the pen notice that it shows up on the other one even if I created as a student more jam boards here it will show up now it's four so if if the student is drawn drawing something over here it will show up if I go to four over here so you you they do have access to everything to add and to even to delete because if I go back over to the first slide if I was selecting this image and I could hit delete and it's going to disappear now so do know that thing I just want to stress that uh, that that can happen this is a great collaboration tool that works well with many participants in here and you can get a lot of great collaboration happening so I hope you like this walkthrough of uh, of this demo of Jamboard uh, like I said I've used it recently with a group of 40 teachers and it worked great uh, even in the internet was a little bit slower too and it worked uh, it worked quite well to uh, collaborate with questions uh, thanks for watching this week on teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.